Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome back to the Bell 47 and welcome to my backyard. Not really, but one can hope, right? <laughs> anyway, as I was trying to figure out uh, where the best place is to do my hover practicing, I figured why not make it as scenic as possible and I found Innsbruck and the custom helipads that is included in it as a mod so i'll go into more details on that later but yes i have been having loads of fun here and then i wanted to share a bit of that fun with you guys so you can also experience it for yourselves either via the video or fly it yourselves and you get a chance so a few details as we start up the engine the scenery we are seeing right here in front of us is a combination of the Orbix paid scenery of Innsbruck, IQ code Lowy, Lima Oscar Whiskey, India, and the helipad uh, regional, Innsbruck regional helipads by Luki. So you need the Orbix payware scenery combined with Lukeep's free helipads and that gives you these additional helipads not only on the airport itself where we are like at the back of the airport we have this uh, this uh, helipad just built just for us but we also have a lot of different helipads all across the city so it would be nice to roam around and enjoy the scenery and when you want to challenge yourself do a landing at the helipad or so we'll try to do that at least one of the helipads okay but no promises so i've been practicing my hovering can't say i've uh, done so much yet well i have spent a lot of hours if that translates to actual skill uh, not really in terms of hovering i'm still an infant i think i need like hundreds of hours more okay let's try to start slowly building up here see if I can hover even for a second or so like that yeah I can't really last more than a few seconds hovering because it is such a challenging job but yeah that I think works right just don't ask me to hold it longer anyway let's say we have to save time on the video we have to focus on the good parts <laughs> so let's start climbing up here just climbing a bit and then we'll pick up airspeed as we go through this area. Okay, this is where the airport is. Now, let me go through some details of how to make this happen. Because it's a bit tricky, it's not as straightforward. But before that, let's go and enjoy the view first. Yeah, this is with Orbex scenery. You can see all the details, different types of cars. Even the parking lot is filled with cars, buses, all the happenings. We actually even have a plane here which is being loaded. Very nice. And yeah, the detail is definitely different compared to the built-in airport. Because if you have the premium version of the sim, if you guys remember, when you buy the sim, you can buy either the standard the deluxe or the premium deluxe there is supposedly a an Innsbruck airport already that is included in the the low the the premium version I think let's go and have a look at that first here let's maybe circle around here and try to stay stationary view at it from above so there is an airport already that's included in the premium version of the sim that's what I started with. Oh, look at our shadow there in front of us. You see? Like a little dragonfly. So let's try to admire it from this view. Yes. So I started with that. And it, just, it did look nice. It had a custom tower. You could see the Flughafen uh, Innsbruck. The logo right there. 
in front of us on that building but it didn't have this many details even the ground was a bit plain the taxi markings are pretty basic you know so it's like um, it's halfway between a, a standard uh, auto-generated airport in a full-blown third-party handcrafted airport that's how it looked so when I bought this one goodness it really gave me a different vibe on the place and yeah you can see all the different details right and of course you have all these mountains and everything in front of you but what's great about this is it's not only the airport itself that is filled with detail but also the city surrounding it the actual city and that's what makes it great because it makes it compatible for those helipads now a little bit of uh, note about those helipads you can see that one uh, uniclinic helipad i think that's the university hospital maybe helipad something like that anyway, let's let's try and get there let me show you a bit of the city man yeah this is why i really enjoyed practicing this helicopter because my goodness how can you not with this kind of sights right granted the weather was pretty bad a couple of days ago but thankfully since yesterday the weather has been just absolutely amazing yeah this is live weather so yeah the, the details of the city itself the roads the houses even this custom-built bridge of course you guys know me I love bridges let's go and explore that a bit and let me see let me test myself like if I can hover near there yeah even the custom assets and the landmarks I think are filled so that one let's see if I can descend closer and of course I have the overlay on the lower left side of the screen to show you what's happening behind the scenes with the different controls the collective the cyclic and the, uh, the anti-torque pedals there's the bridge nothing fancy but i do have this like canal kind of thing if you guys know what the official term for this is let me know okay because this is just really amazing flying just a few feet a few hundred feet above the water exploring the city this way really enjoying that okay let's get back some collective in here get into that yellow range of the manifold pressure all right looking good but yes i can spend hours and hours just enjoying this view and i'll probably do some sky park missions on it but now even without any missions, I'm just enjoying the sightseeing. There's the Uniclinic helipad. We'll end it there, probably. There are tons more helipads that come with this mod, but let me give you a watch out first. So, yes, even though you don't have the Orbex scenery, this scenery that I bought, you can still use the helipad mod that is free. Because it's a two-step thing, right? The Orbex scenery and then the helipad mod. You can go and use the helipad mod even without the Orbex paid scenery. You'll just not have these two helipads, this Uniclinic one and the one on the airport. You won't have them. But there are other air, uh, there are other helipads actually farther on, like somewhere there in the distance, the east and back on the west. So there are more stuff, more helipads to land in and those are free and those you can access even without the paid scenery. So if you are a fan of helicopters, I highly recommend checking it out. But yeah, this one is thanks to Orbex scenery again. You have a cathedral in there. You have this huge, I'm not sure what that is. Probably something snow related, huh? Snow skiing? You guys let me know. But yeah, just something that sweetens the deal. And you have so many trains. Did you guys see the trains? So our train fans there. Let's go into a sharp turn here. There's the trains. None of them are moving, but looks real enough, right? Looks real enough. Pretty cool. So yes, yeah, so over the weekend as I was practicing, I was trying to go through the different uh, helipads, enjoying the, the this amazingly looking valley. 
and here we are at the Uli Clinic helipad. So, yes, you can stay tuned to that. Actually, transponder is not set, huh? It's like, there you go. You can stay tuned to this channel for future videos. We'll for sure do more Innsbruck area videos about this, checking those other helipads. But for now, let's stick to this part. see how that works let's uh, do some altitude in here mm, a bit tricky it was a bit too high might have to circle around a bit or I can hover until I slowly descend on that area there it is you can see the people waiting below one second let me back up a bit here there they are waiting for us this is more suited for an H135 or the Airbus H135, but uh, it, it, this will work also, this will work. Let me try and get myself stable here first, because it's getting harder and harder to control. Give me a bit of time guys, huh? as much as I would like to <laughs> ease this, it's still a challenge for me to be honest. I do enjoy the challenge every every moment though. Okay, there you are. Easy, easy. Keep it steady. Just a pedal. Oh, no sudden movements, please. Thank you. There we are. Come on. You can do it. Oh, don't be shy. There we are. Okay. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh, it's so hard. The guys are probably like wondering what the heck is that guy doing? There we go. I'm closer to the H. Don't, don't refer. <sighs> yes, yeah, I still have that pendulum swinging action. It's a bit troublesome. You know what? I landed here. There you go. And then you still get that automatic uh, continue kind of thing. But there you go. So you can go and check out these helipads. And they're always amazing. Actually, maybe I can show you one more. How long has the video been? Yeah, it's only been 12 minutes. So you can go and check these out. I think there are even some emergency services. But yeah, one thing I wanted to highlight is if you wanted the helipad for, let's say, for example, you have the Orbex scenery for Innsbruck and you want the helipad at the airport, so you have this mod, I don't think it will work immediately. Yeah, I don't think it will work right off the bat. I had to do some manual steps for it. I had to do two main steps for it, okay? So just take note. All right, let's go through here. Pick up some airspeed so we can uh, increase our altitude. <clears throat> Let's explore the city for a bit. Let's continue heading east here. And let me show you how it becomes different. Like, you'll notice it immediately after you leave the Innsbruck, the Lowy, the Orbex area. Then you get back into the default Microsoft areas. It will get a bit more dull, like it will still look great, but it won't look this detailed anymore. There's Hall Hospital, okay, there's, uh, yeah, I think that area is already the uh, default one. So we don't have these custom buildings from Orbix anymore there. We'll see if we can notice the difference, okay. <clears throat> but yes, the watch out I was mentioning, if you wanted that helipad in the beginning of the video, you have to do two things. Number one, you have to uninstall the Asobo Premium uh, Lowy version to be safe. So it won't conflict with the Orbex Lowy that you've gotten. And number two, you have to rename the helipad at Lowy. So when you download the mod, as always all of these mods guys, uh, they're in the mods list. Link is in the video description for their respective download links. Sorry guys, I'm just exploring here as well. Some other custom buildings in here. What is that? 
very interesting look there. Is that a bridge? Very nice. I think so. Sorry, me and bridges, we have a bit of a history. Um, so yes, you delete the Asobo content by going to the content manager inside the sim. Uh, profile and then content manager, look for Lowy by Asobo and then delete it. And then number two, you have to rename the mod. So when you download um, Lukeep's Innsbruck Regional Helipads, inside the archive, when you download the file, inside the archive, there will be multiple files. One for each city, one for each helipad. Right? And there will be a specific folder for Lowy, the helipad in Lowy. That particular folder, before you place it or after you place it in your community folder, you have to put a Z in the beginning of the name. Doesn't really have to be a Z, can be an X, can be a Y, but it has to be after O probably. Because um, I think it's a load order issue. And I think what's happening is this scenery, this airport, is Orbix. The, the folder name is Orbix, so it starts with an O. But the 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 helipad at Lowy starts with an L because of Lukeep is the file name. So when you have L, the Lukeep, coming before O, so the L loads first, you get the helipad, and then later on, Orbix loads the airport and overwrites the helipad. And the end result is you won't get the helipad as an option. Because normally, when you look in the main menu in the world map, if you look at the uh, Lowy Airport and look for the possible parking slots, there should be a Ramp 100, Military Combat something is the name, but it's the number 100 parking spot. And if you did it wrong, you won't see that 100. Because if you have the L, the Lukeep coming before the O, the Orbix, then by the time the Orbix loads, it will override the parking the helipad so the helipad will still be there in terms of visual you can't just start in the helipad you can't choose that as a parking spot so make sure you put a z in the folder name in Lukeep, okay so i've seen the flight sim.2 the link download link a lot of people are also having problems and there is no definitive solution but that's what i found so hopefully it works for you too let me know if it does okay well, look at this. Yeah, th this is what I was saying. It still looks great, right? But not as detailed anymore as the Orbix area that we've passed. It still looks good. That looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. What is... How do you call that body of water? Is that man-made? It looks man-made. But yeah, the, the detail of those buildings at the back doesn't compare anymore with the kind of buildings you see here. This looks a bit more generic and square, right? Those ones are a bit more customized. But still, yeah, you have this uh, all these helipads, so it's nice to explore the valley, just enjoy going east. I think after this one, there are at least three to five more helipads you can enjoy. Yeah, I've just been enjoying exploring this and getting some hours in this helicopter to get more accustomed to it. As you guys can see, still having trouble parking, but at least I can shoot in the helipad now. I can aim for the helipad now and land somewhere nearby. Now the smoothness of the landing, still a big work in progress. The, the speed at which I land, still a lot of work in progress, but <laughs> enjoying every bit of it, my goodness. Yeah, it would be great if you could have some missions in here, right? Right now, I'm just mainly role-playing it. No economy mods whatsoever. Sky Park is off. I guess you can have new fly in Sky Park here too. Even on air, all the economy mods you can start here. I doubt any of those will have missions specifically going to these helipads though. Although it would be great for sure. 
it's like half and just correct. My pedals here, I think, are too much on the left. Uh, even flying straight and level is still a challenge. Not as challenging as landing, but still, yeah, my palms are sweaty now. <laughs> that quick. Yes, this is amazing. I'm going to be spending a lot more time here. At least now, even if I'm just practicing to hover, it won't be a dull area. It will be as scenic as possible. Over the collective here, apply right pedal, adjust the cyclic so we face the same way and start slowing down. Lead off that speed. Lead it off so I can have a proper approach into the airport. And as we lose our airspeed, then I have to bring up the collective again because as you guys can see, we are starting to fall. Apply left pedal again. And let's start that controlled descent into the helipad. At least that's the goal. Yeah, beautiful looking helipad though, you can't miss it. Right. Hospital. Yeah, I think this one, the building itself, is... Uh, default but the helipad is the one that comes from the mod and it's good enough for me let's see how we can get there <clears throat> make sure the manifold pressure is controlled oh, that's too much too much too fast too fast on, control it. There you go. Drop it down. Oh, was would have been great. Would have been great. Let's do that one more time. You can leave it that way. <laughs> we almost fell over, my goodness. And yeah, I really hate that. That's going to really break the momentum, that automatic pausing feature. It's, uh, it's a bit of a party pooper. Normally, when I'm landing, I land better with an audience, but seems like this time it, 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 I don't. Seems like I'm getting camera shy. Now, let, let's give it one more chance. And yeah, because of the limited power of this helicopter, you can hardly even climb vertically. Look at this. I want to climb vertically, but there is no power left. Let's try and see if I can increase the manifold pressure a bit without blowing the engine because engine failures are implemented in this helicopter. If you pull the collective too high, you will blow the engine off. It's going to be a bad day. So let's try this one more time. Yeah, this is what I've been doing all throughout. Parking, trying to park at the helipad, departing, circling around, parking again, doing the approach again helps me a bit because before I couldn't even land anywhere near the hel helipad but yeah still a lot of controlling that needs to be done okay how do we center ourselves there still have that pendulum swinging action let's try and let go of that momentum there you go oh, oh close enough I guess Oh, I'll take that. Close enough to the H. <laughs> Hopefully, we get better at it, but we have more helipads to discover in the near future anyway. Hope you guys enjoy the scenery nonetheless. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy flying, guys, and look forward to more episodes because I'm totally in love with flying these helicopters. Awesome stuff. Clumsy flying, and goodbye. See you soon.